evening. Today, uh, let's look at Leila Lelame's The Moose Account. Leila Lelame is a Moroccan American novelist, essayist, and professor who won the American Book Award, the Arab American Book Award, and the Hessian Wright Legacy Award and was a finalist for the Pulitzer Prize for Fiction for her book, The Moore's Account. The Moore's Account is a stunning work of historical fiction. The author, Leila Lelami, brings us the imagined memoirs of the first black explorer of America, a Moroccan slave whose testimony was left out of the official record. So, the Moore's account is a fictional memoir of Astimanico, the Moroccan slave who survived the Nervais expedition and accompanied Cabeza de Vaca. In the Moore's account, Leila Lalami intertwined history with fiction and grants the Arab Negro, Astimanico, who is displaced a voice to rewrite history of the new world. Mustafa ibn Muhammad ibn Abdul Salam al Zamuri, who has traded in slaves and later was himself enslaved in his life, is born to a Moroccan notary in 903 Hijri in Azimur, Morocco. His father dies, and at the same time, Azimur is besieged by Portuguese and a famine spreads all over the place and he surrenders and sells himself into slavery to feed his family. Baptized and converted to Christianity against his will, Mustafa is given the name Esteban by his owner Rodrigues and he shipped to Seville. So Estebanico is internally displaced. In order to develop a protection strategy for himself, he leaves home and joins the expedition because of the disaster and European colonization in Morocco. Later, he is sold to a new owner who rebaptizes him again as Astibanico, and the two join the Nervais expedition to the New World. The displaced Astibanico strives to juggle his identity in a strange land and surrounded by strangers and hazards from every corner in the new world. For eight years, he has been moving from one Indian tribe to the next with the conquistadors. He doesn't have a voice. His testimony is left out of the joint official record. Mustafa is a victim of the slave trade, one in constant movement. He is physically displaced. For him, home is neither Morocco nor Spain. Rather, he belongs to a liminal space caught somewhere in the sea. He loses his name and identity. He is given a name and is converted to Christianity that is not his and is sold three times by his owners. Mustafa, a deterritorialized self, is exploited, has limited freedom, and treated as a commodity. Leila Lelami recovers Mustafa's silenced voice and empowers him to narrate the adventure he has undertaken in La Florida. So, uh, the process of displacement and exile from the homeland produce a transnational mobilization and people experience a degree of marginalization in the foreign land. This novel examines the pain of the diasporic and effects of displacement.